Hi, it's Sarah. This video is the second of a three-part series covering Data Groomer's Trimmer module, which is used to identify and merge duplicates in your Salesforce org. Trimmer uses the concept of datasets to determine which data should be analyzed for duplicates. The first time you log in, datasets for account, contact and lead objects, as well as leads and contacts cross object dataset, will be created automatically. In addition, users can create as many datasets as they like. For example, you may wish to segment based on geographies, or create new datasets for custom Salesforce objects. To create a dataset, click on the Add Dataset button and select a single object or a cross-object dataset. Before we start, keep in mind that almost all the settings can be changed at any time, and the datasets can be cloned or removed. The configuration wizard consists of several tabs. In the General tab provide a name and select a Salesforce object. The Fields tab allows you to add or remove fields that will be displayed when reviewing duplicates. You can also specify the order that they are displayed. In the next tab you can filter the data by any criteria. In this case, we are restricting the country to Canada. If you prefer to use Sokol, that option is available as well. Next up are merge rules. These rules can be user-defined and automate the selection of the surviving or master record. You can also extract data from the duplicate records and save it with the master. To learn more, please take a look at the videos and documentation on merge rules. Finally, the matching model is how Trimmer identifies duplicates. By default, our internal machine learning models are used for all datasets. You can see the fields that are included in the leads model here. You can also create your own models and override the default selections. To learn more, please check out the videos and documentation on matching models. When duplicates are identified, a match confidence between 1 and 100 is assigned to this group. The higher the value, the more confidence there is that the match records are duplicates. The bar here allows you to control the number of duplicates that you see in the dataset. As with other settings, this one can be changed at any time. Once you save the dataset, Trimmer will begin to analyze it for duplicates. New datasets are saved under the parent object, as shown here for the leads in Canada. You can also organize datasets by folder, which can be much more convenient for associating several related datasets. Here we create a folder called Canada and drop the new dataset there. We hope that you can see that Trimmer is not just easy but also a very powerful tool for deduping your Salesforce data. If you're ready to get started, you can get a free trial of the app from the datagroomer.com website or you can always find us on the Salesforce App Exchange. Thanks for watching.